decision. I'm an, an expert on uh, operation strategy. They say that we have what's called 40 20 40 rule. That to succeed on anything, 40% of your time and resources should be spent on preparation. 20% of your time and resources should be spent in the execution. 40% should be for, uh, the rest will be spent on the follow up, isn't it? And monitor and evaluation so that you know what if something again happens next time, what can you do better? Br uh, my brother, how many floods have we had in Kenya since independence? So if we never spend the 40% in just trying to see what did we get wrong? Maybe we got it wrong in terms of information. We didn't consume information from meteorological department. We lack coordination. Resources were not dispersed on time. How can we improve the resource disbursement? You know, these things for resource disbursement, I saw James Arengo shouting on top of his voice. They just want money. You see, last time they said that 10 billion was sent to the counties, isn't it? Gachagwa said he sent 10 billion. Governor said the money was not sent. In the end, we don't know whether the money was sent or not because they don't send them to you, so you don't know. How can we have such a kind of a system? It happened during the El Nino. What we are having, I don't know, it's called floods or this or still El Nino. So we do not know whether this is the El Nino, but money was disbursed before El Nino came. Then they say El Nino did not come, but the money was disbursed or was not disbursed. So you could see that this government lacks what's called accountability. You know, when you talk about the issue of accountability, accountability must be transparency, must be given to Kenyans. How do Kenyans know the money has been dispersed? Because someone says the government set aside, setting aside Nikotenga. Serious, that's the word that Ruto uses most, Kotenga. So Kotenga 